Kia ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Oliver. And I'm Kiana. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak, we help them find it, and the latest weather update. But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes and upside-down kitchens, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Holly. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Aiden. What made you decide to build an upside-down house? Well, when I was little, I've always loved reading and watching movies about an upside-down house. So a few months ago, I was... I managed to build a house that was my dream. I love that. What's one of your favorite things about living in an upside down house? My favorite thing is that it's just my style and it's just something that relates to me. And I love watching the tourists and little kids come through the house having a lot of fun. Do they ever play hide and seek? Yes. What's some of the challenges of living in an upside down house? The challenge is always like stepping on light bulbs or something that's on that you have on your ceiling and like bumping into chairs and tables. Ouch. Well, thanks for joining us. Back to you, Oliver and Kiana. Now, for a story that is truly out of sight, scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inven inventor says, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, Amelia. Hello, I'm Amelia and I'm here with Tay, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? So I could sell it and make a lot of money. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? What do you hope the cloak will be used for? I hope it will be used for good and not evil. Well, that makes things very clear. Thank you for joining us. Back to you, the studio. Thanks, Amelia. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime it is covering the country thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Mitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lamp posts with jerseys and scarves into the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to these crimes. We cross now to Malia with an exclusive. Thanks, Ollie. I'm Malia, and joining me today is a member from the Midnight Mitters gang, Yo Yo Taylor, and thanks for joining us. What led you into the dark underworld of knitted graffiti? My dad, he does a lot of knitting graffiti and I love how he's so inspirational to me. That's awesome. Do you see yourself as a criminal? No. Why not? Because I think it's lovely how I'm making Aotearoa look more special and beautiful. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else do you, would you like to graffiti in the future? The whole entire world. Wow. Thanks for your time. Back to you all at the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Jade. What's in store? Thanks, Kiana. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there will be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taken a short holiday, but it is expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning, when the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. That's all from me. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Jade. Finally, it's time for two minutes with Malia, who is talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Malia. 
Hello and welcome to Two Minutes with me, Malia. Joining me today is Taylor, who has just been crowned world's greatest liar. Hello, Taylor. What's the most outrageous lie you have ever told? One time I told a man the most romantic day was to go up Mount Victoria with a pizza and a blanket. Wow. I haven't heard that story before. Do you like to lie all the time? Do you lie all the time or is it just when you're competing? I never lie. Okay. Are you lying to me right now? No. Are you sure? Yes. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Malia. Back to the news desk. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Kiana. And I'm Oliver. Wake up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.